we're just showing the game path where this animal used to travel this game path has been here for many many years since the beginning of the world animal around in the area they travel the same path they don't really really go away from the path really that makes us to be sure wherever they're going and they started way back and really in summer you can't really you tend to see them in winter so this camp out there it's used by pala buffalo giraffe leopards and lions they use the same path so it makes them for easy if they travel on the game path because they can get to one point to another and sometimes it helps when it comes to scent to follow the scent of other animals right away if it's important to get lost from the head he's going to travel the same way try to get the members of the head until you get to meet but sometimes because in summer it's been covered with grass and everything there's not a lot of information of the game path but it's how they travel travel the same way I just want to talk about what I can see here on, on my right. It looks like somebody has come and dig in the area and left. Well, you can see the formation of the hole on, on the ground. Let's look about that. Let us look at the habitat right here where we are. You will notice few trees there that are silver sulcaria or silver cluster leaves. This hole here, it tells me is being dug by elephant because in nature, <clears throat> wherever you get this silver sulcaria or silver cluster leaf tree, note that in that area the water table is very high. So by the right time of the year when it rains in the area, because elephants sometimes they don't need dirty water. The big water around in the area and excess water because wherever is silver this area the water table is high and all the time if you come across this tree the right time of the year if it's ready you can even yourself dug water you can find water you can access water very easy so the elephant were digging the hole here that we've seen from the beginning to get water and that guarantee you the silver sulcaria is true wherever they are it's quite a lot of water it's only this time of the year because it's not more dry you can't have anything you can dig it unless if you can dig it far then you can start to get water deep maybe up to three five meters on the ground then you can start to see water bubbling but really for sure know that where the silver sulcaria you can access water, more especially if you do survival somewhere, find out the silver terminal trees where they are, then you can get water. A lot more easy to find water in the area. You look at what silver cesarea or silver cluster leaf tree, then you can get water. And one of the tree, the leaves are a lot more eatable, more especially if you have stomach ache. Really you can take pluck one of the leaves and you chew it. You suck the salvia and split the leaves. It's gonna sort you out. Let's carry on and head west east and see what we can find along the way. So 
Sorry, sorry, come on. Everything was happening around Western Gai. Talking to one of the guides. It's bleeding out of elephants. Not far where we're going. Area called Spaghetti Spaghetti Crossing inside the riverbed there where we can't drive in we might have problem of stuck on the middle of the riverbed. So but we are going towards that area, it's not far from the point here where we are. We're gonna take one of the road called Elephant Scar Road towards Spaghetti Cross Mamba Road area. We'll try to get to see if we, it will be a lot more access from there. Western bank of the river is up to dry parallel of the river. If we can't, we'll go somewhere else. Let's take a look on our right here. We can see a big uh, skeleton. Thing. As you can see there, right where we're zooming, that it's uh, one of the parasite tree called leopard orchid, which is living, is parasiting on the tree. The tree is no longer surviving. So how that parasite gets there because of wind blows, one of the seeds it happens to land on a log or it might happen because of the rivet monkeys and baboon eating seeds one place or another dropping the defecation there and the seeds is able to uh, germinate on top of the rock because it really doesn't need a lot of sand it can survive easy what on that way uh, so what happened the leopard equid is going to survive on that tree for many years it won't have problem at all. So really the tree that you see there is what is called Lidu tree. It's one of the trees that can survive whilst dry for many many years. It might be 100 up to 300 years. It can sustain on that way. It's one of the hardest trees that we can hear, get around in the area. So really it's going to survive on that way and beds they might eat the seeds because it might be flowering but next up I mean next month the leopard, leopard I mean the leopard okut is going to flower and again some of the birds are gonna eat some of the flowering seeds and so on. By eating that they might transport to one place to another more especially you know all of the seeds has been transported by wind, birds and the other animal that eat. So it's a lot more beautiful you can see there. It's amazing because the other part is dead. And suddenly you get to that green stuff. It's a different tree. It's one of the parasite trees. So let us carry on. We're in that. Our leopard equids right there. 